feeling a lot of Arsenal fans getting very excited about the time. Should they be getting excited about this team? Yeah, but it's a friendly match. Uh, obviously, as you could see, there are a lot of positives to take from the game. Um, the way we played, the intensity that we showed, um, the way we're trying to, to do who we are as a team, but at the same time, it's, it's just a test match. Uh, don't get carried away. There is still a lot of things that we have to get better at and do better, but um, I think it's good to get some momentum, uh, finish the tour in the right way, uh, give some enjoyment to our fans and everybody that's been contributing to make this tour happen. And now it's time to go back to London and, and focus and, and keep making improvements and, and a step forward. Mike Mikel, does it show with the way Gabriel played again, fantastic goal, getting your business done early could be so important? It's ideal for any coach that you ask him, the, the earlier you get the players, the better, because you need to get them um, in the cohesion of the team, understanding each other, um, relaxed and, and comfortable socially as well around the team. And, um, and the fact that obviously now he's been with us for a few weeks, um, it makes a huge difference. With that performance, does that change anything in terms of what you think in terms of incomings or outgoings or just li literally that was a friendly, we move on? Nothing. Uh, again, don't get carried away. There, there were a lot of positives. There were other things that we can do much, much better than we've done today as well. And um, I will have to continue to, to improve as a team. Hi again, Mikel. I'm Cecil from AFTV. I spoke to you, when we last spoke, I asked about um, people, players coming in. What specific uh, position were you looking to strengthen by the end of the window? Because you did say it was still open. I focus on the players that I have here available. Um, we know what we would like to do. But uh, first of all, what I really focus on and would like to do is to get the best of, of the players that we have. Thank you. Mikhail, that back four that you played in the first half tonight, uh, it's a bit of a new one, really. Ben at right backs, William in at centre half, Zinchenko at left back. Could that be the back four that starts the season for you? And where are Tierney and Tommy Asu in their recovery at this point? Well, at the moment, they are not fit, um, any of those two, and we have other options to do. But um, I think it was good to try different things as well, to build some relationship in, in big matches. And, um, and I'm really happy the way they played. And what did you make of Zinchenko? You had one session with you before today and made his debut. <laughs> He was desperate to play, and I knew that uh, we said maximum 45 minutes. Uh, you could see a straight away half comfortable. He, is, he understands everything that um, I won, obviously, because uh, he understands the process, and um, I think he had a, a really good game. Profe, it's going to be in Spanish. Erwin Bustamante, Sport Bar TV in Florida. Profesor, dos partidos muy intensos con este calor, pero la sensación hoy de los fans. ¿Cómo vio los fans? Y cuénteme un poco de lo que vio en el partido de hoy. Muchas no, gracias. El ambiente es espectacular. Gracias a todos los que han venido, han hecho que sea un ambiente eh, divertido y bonito, que los jugadores yo creo que han intentado dar todo porque se han llevado un poquito también por la gente y por el esfuerzo que ha hecho la gente en venir, sobre todo con este calor tan terrible que hace. Y yo creo que estarán contentos sobre todo del esfuerzo que, que, han, que han puesto los jugadores. Hi, Mikel. Um... William Saliba was excellent again tonight. Have you been surprised by how quickly he's settled back in? And, and obviously, a lot of fans are really excited about him coming back. I'm really it? pleased to see him, the way he's playing, uh, the way he's adapted to the team, um, the maturity that he's showing at 21 years old. Uh, carry on doing it. Um, keep developing him. He has a huge potential. He's already a top player, and uh, we have to make him even better. You said at the start of the tour that there aren't many starting centre-backs at big Premier League clubs at his age. Is, is he ready? He looked ready to me today. <laughs> Mikel, is there anything we can get an update on Fabio Vieira or Takiro Tomiyasu? Are they going to be back anytime soon? Yeah, Tommy is really close to start doing some uh, training session hopefully next week. And uh, Fabio, um, probably a little bit longer. I think he needs another week or so before he starts with the team. But um, he's been working hard and he's been really unlikely to start his uh, Arsenal career in this way. But, uh, but again, he's fitting well. Thank you, Mikel. Thank you. Just to check, Mikel, is Gabriel Jesus OK? Because it looked like he was struggling with an injury before he came off. Yeah, he got a knock in the first half and in his squad, I think he was, and he wasn't very comfortable um, to continue, so obviously we didn't take any risk today. Coach, could you wrap up your trip to Central Florida? Did the team enjoy your time here? You got your work in, got your games in. Would you like to come back? Just wrap it all up. We had a great time. Thank you so much for everybody that uh, participated in organizing this tour. Uh, we tried to make it uh, as enjoyable and as productive as possible. And, uh, 
in the sporting side it worked out, the facilities were really good, it, both games that we played um, really good as well, really competitive matches, great car, great attendance, so looking forward to get back one day. Mikel. players that are not that are not here today or in the squad. Do you feel you have the depth to start the new season that you're comfortable with? We are where we are. Obviously with the moment we have injuries you can see um, that we are still a little bit short in some positions for the way we want to play. But uh, it's something that we are trying to address. And I think we have increased the quality of the team for sure and now the depth of the squad is something that obviously we want to keep racing. Just one other question. Um, Jesus, you've spoken a lot about him and you know him from, from City, of course. Do you feel he's going to maybe compete? He looks really confident. He scored lots of goals in pre-season. Do you think, feel he'll compete for the Golden Boot this season? I have no clue. We are in pre-season. Uh, what I can guarantee is that he's going to do any, everything that he can to be the best player as he can. That's it. Ready? Profe, I'm, I'm sure you've seen how much Americans love Christian Pulisic and how much we like our homegrown players. Are there any Americans that are currently on your radar at the moment? We have already one that we just signed, so it's a good start. Let's see how he adapts, but it's a, it's a huge market, uh, a lot of opportunities there, and, um, and hopefully we can bring some more to make you happy. Thank you.